All right, guys, video one, little intro to the UI here and uh, basic track creation on the MIDIFY V4 Plus. So we just turned it on. Uh, the last session you were in comes up. Um, easy to create new sessions, save sessions, save as, you just go exit, and there are your options. Open a new one, save, save as, new, delete. Okay, you can't delete the session you're in, but there you go. So we're, we're in a session called demo. Go back to edit, which is where you spend most of your time, edit. Uh, menu brings you to uh, set up for your tracks. So menu again brings you to that. Um, uh, all fast and shift allow you to, and copy paste clear, these down here allow you to, and scroll, to work with the um, steps in the patterns, to select them, to modify them, to shift them around. So these work with the steps. The uh, buttons around the dial let you know what um, what kind of mode you're in for the lower set of buttons here. So right now we're in track mode. So when that's lit up, these buttons control your track. Group one, track three, track four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll go to sixteen. Notice that when you select a track, the neighboring uh, three light up. That denotes the group you're in. So. Uh, you have 16 completely independent tracks, but when you want to arrange them in patterns, kind of like a song mode, you do it by groups of four. So, you know, you could put your analog synths on this four, your drums on this four, you can maybe have some digital effects here, maybe your CC tracks are here. So you can organize them like that. You don't have to though, of course. Param, parameter. Uh, puts you in the mode where you're selecting different parameters for the bottom. So instead of selecting tracks now, we're in track three still, but our parameter is velocity, or note velocity, length, roll, and then you can define uh, the rest. Uh, but they come in as secondary notes. You can put in polyphonic info. So that's parameter. Press track to get back to track. Now notice when you're in parameter and you select a parameter, roll for example, when you go back to track mode, um, you're still in parameter roll. So back to note, I mean parameter is note. Same for trigger, you know, the gate trigger accent, trigger roll, trigger a glide, trigger a skip, um, no effects, RG and RV, random gate, random velocity, you can trigger those things. Um, and now notice you want to just play with different trigger setups. Okay, in your track, you can do that. Put it back to gate, go back to track. Instrument comes in handy with drum tracks. Mute allows you to mute tracks and play. Uh, haven't made any bookmarks uh, or done phrases. So that's that. Transport controls and some extra recording, live mode, looping, things like that. Metronome. So that's the basic UI. Uh, the dial here steps you through the different steps of your track. So we're going up and up and up and up. Going down and down and down and down. Now you set the actual length of the track in a menu, which we'll do in a moment, but. Another way to step through these tracks is with the uh, fast forward keys. It gives you shortcuts to individual sets of 16. So that's that. All right, so now basic dials there, controls. So let's set up this track. So we're going to the menu. First thing we do is set the output port in the MIDI channel. So Go to Event, and the output port's here. Okay, Def is the predefined port, uh, which is not what I want to send it out. I want to send it on out to. I'm going to go to just an FM Yamaha I have here, channel one, and that'll be great. It's track three. 
in here you can also control um, what each parameter layer is. So parameter layers A is note, velocity, length, roll. Remember a lot of those come in just as note, extra note layers, but you can you can set those in here too. Chords, velocity, CCs, all this other stuff. We'll get to those later and we'll just leave it on note just for now. Um, also the type of track, so note tracks are here, normal note tracks, chord tracks, CC tracks, drum tracks. All right, so stick in note for now. If you want to change that, you have to in initialize. So you hold that for two seconds. Now we're back to what, what we were anyway. All right, so there's setting up basically your output port and your MIDI channel is on the menu button. Back to edit. All right. Now notice this one's yellow. We're in track three here. Uh, track one is also. Let's set that one up. So we want to go to for me out two channel one. That's great. All right, so now I got channel one and three on the same output um, and channel. So that's fun. Now also in menu, we can set the direction, the division, the length, transposition, groove, uh, effects, and on and on and on. So let's just set, um, let's just take a look at the division, 16, uh, whole notes, quarters, eighths, sixteenths, 30 seconds. You can actually change the clock divider here if you want to get weird with things, really speed things up or slow things down. So that's pretty cool. Leave it at 16th notes now. Let's go to track three. Let's make this one uh, eighth notes. Go to edit, we'll do length. Uh, let's go to eight steps for this one. We'll go to track one, 16 steps, that's great. Back to edit. So now those tracks are set up, so if we hit play, See track one, 16. Go to track three, eighth notes, going slower. So there you have it. All right, so put a note in here. Nice eighth note going on. Another note in, double it up. Go to track here, we can got sixteenths so pull those out. There you go. Now we're going. Now we're in we're in um these separately like this it's cool you know normal stuff um, but a cool thing we do and a way to adjust many things kind of at once to sculpt it a little bit is to use the all and the shift keys so notice the step that the cursor is on so we put the cursor at 16. Um, if you turn the cursor knob while holding all, they all switch to that. So you can change the all by holding all the active cursor. Let's put it up a little bit. Now, you can set up a ramp between, if you press all, notice they're flashing, and you turn one that's not the cursor key. So if I go all the way 
right here, it will set up an even, as even of a ramp as it can. pretty fast. There's a lot of cool options in the direction uh, menu there for creating interesting sequences. So, um, I think that's going to be it for now, folks. Just to uh, video. Yeah. 